Next up on the Sage 2021 Showcase, we got Mega Met! And a pretty rockin' rendition of the original cartoon Mega Man uh, theme song as well. Kind of a weird remix of it, but a good one. This was added by BBLIR. I'm not, I don't know if that's supposed to be an acronym, but that's how it's spelled. The description reads, Mega Met is a Mega Man fan game which features medals as the entire cast of characters, enemies, and bosses. The game's main focus is the shielding system. Mega Met can hide under his helmet to protect himself. However, the shield can only reflect basic pellets without consequences. The demo features one stage, Ice Met's level. This level is the most basic out of all of the four Met Master stages and features... There's only four? Huh. And features every possible scenario for shield interaction. So it was a great fit to present the game to the public. So, a one-act demo, well, one-level one demo, uh, of a pretty cute little concept here that I was interested to check out. It looks pretty good. But uh, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, think about doing that as well. If you really want to help out, though, come on by Twitch. Whether you want to lurk or talk, it's fine, but either way, uh, I need more viewers to reach partner. So if you just want to add to the count... Uh, and hang out and just have a good time. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link now if you want to directly support my content. Uh, links are in the description if you're interested in any of them. But with that being said, does this work on controller? Hell yeah, it does. Cool. <laughs> look at this little, look at this little, oh, it blinks. That's good. I'm sorry, that's adorable. This little, look at this little net sprite. <laughs> Mega Met Sprite. That's good. I appreciate that. Uh, let's just start. I'm good with however it's set up. Uh, lives? That's fine. Night. Tinder experience went up to finish lives. Yep. Okay, so there's there's other stages to come. So there's only four Robot Masters. At least they said there's only four. For now. But we'll start with Ice Met. We'll start with Ice Met because it's the only option. Oh, that's an adorable sprite animation. Digging that already, holy shit. So everything is Met. Oh, this is a remix of Iceman stage. Fair enough. I mean, the, the similarities are obvious. Ah, you're the... You're... you're yeah. Wait, what do you do? What are you? What are you? What? I'm trying to figure out what things are replacing. I'm not sure what enemy that's replacing. So yeah, these are replacing the indestructible mine things that attack you fit faster if you're on their level. I think a number of these enemies are just original though. A bee scrape. That's my that's my G full color is a bee scrape. I kind of like the colorful name for that color. Pun not intended. Can I? Yeah. Huh. Oh. So I have a block meter, and it recharges over time. That enemy was introducing me to the block mechanic. Uh... Huh? Oh, I get it. Ooh, that was a little close. This is cool. It's actually a... I don't know what G-Fuel is either, by the way. I think it's just the energy drink, right? I'm not sure why. Wow, the, the the I just realized the ice man penguins are just the same, but now they have a helmet. Also, this jump is a fucking okay. Damn it. 
I had a problem with that jump. The penguins, we're making it difficult! Ah! Can I slide? I'm gonna assume not, but... Oh, I can! Ow. Oh, I have a charge shot! Finally! A Mega Man fan game for Sage this year that has a charge shot in it. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. That's adorable. I'm gonna fight it. Oh my god, the snowman is amazing. I like how each one does a different attack, too. What's over here? Wait, I can go this way or I can go left? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I guess we're going this way then. I wonder what I wonder what would have happened if I went the other way. Maybe I'll replay the level and find out later. Oh god. Well, if you're wondering how much the snow hurts, it's no joke. Oh, I can find out right now because I died far enough back. That works for me. Penguins! Alright, what's over this way then? Oh, an e tank, okay. You're a larger than G Fuel? Huh. No, no, no. Our frustrator gives you hives. It just gives me a headache. Like a pretty bad headache. I also don't like artificial sweeteners, or nor do I tolerate them well. Oh great. That's kind of a poorly placed calming shot enemy, actually. It was impeccable. Oh shit, what's over here? Hi. Oh no, I found the- I accidentally found the metal devil. This was a terrible thing. How do you- how the fuck do I dodge that? Oh god, oh god, oh oh no. No, let me slide. Oh wait, 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 I don't dodge it, I just block it, don't I? I'm out of blocks!
Oh no, my last life. Oh wait, look at the pattern. Ah, oh, okay. There, you can dodge this, it's just... You gotta be mindful, that's all. It's a little tricky. Get, you let them all bounce once and then try to get slide underneath them. Okay. That looks really hard to figure out, but it's not actually that bad. Nice, I did it. What did I do? Was that... Was that normal progression or a secret? Huh, I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? I thought there was a left. Wasn't there a path to the left that was way more obvious than the path I just took? I don't know. Oh shit, 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 Yes, that's right. Yes, yes! I don't know if you know what I did there, but as an emergency situation, I took damage on that mech because it hurt less than the snowstorm. That worked well. It's kind of an advanced tactic, but it works well, if used correctly. I'd like to go on record and say I hate the penguins. I think the problem is that they just never stop showing up. They just never fucking... And they apparently refuse to drop power-ups. I, I think they occasionally drop stuff. There we go, jeez. They've just been draining my health this whole time and not giving me anything for it. No matter how many I kill. Stingy motherfucker, seriously. There, finally. I have no lives, I must scream. One moment. That's why I care about my health right now. Oh. I have one life, and I must scream a little light quieter now. Okay. I got what I wanted, though, so I'm being out of here. That worked out. Hi. Wait. You know what I just realized? Oh shit. Apparently I should be staying on that. But also, this boss song is pretty good. Ow. Okay, I just sold out of this. This is a reasonably long stage, so if I lose this life, we're gonna be replaying quite a bit. It seems mostly ground-based. Okay. 
That's good for me, actually. Oh, that's not cool! That's not cool, though! It's the death if the ice spike lands on top of you. That's just not nice. I got an E-Tank, I guess, but... I mean, I figured it would just break and hurt you. Maybe a fair bit. Okay, I don't like that, because I feel like instant death... Instant death should always be well choreographed, in my personal opinion. I guess it is a falling platform, though, which does raise some... Well, suspicion about the nature of it. Well, I guess I can check that left path now. No reason not to. Oh, fuck. Oh. The only problem with everything being Mets is that it means I gotta time shots on most enemies to show up. Oh, by the way, Ice Physics do mean my jumps are a little more dicey, I'd like to note. That was good. That was some good talking health down there. Ha! Huh, the E tank. Despite completely lose all of my lives, the E tank is still gone here. That's weird. Huh, that should have reappeared, based on normal Mega Man logic, anyways. Yo, I beheaded you. Hi, Crimson. Oh wait, I can dodge if I block it. Yeah, it makes sense. This actually is pretty well designed. Like, here I thought, like, oh, that guy shoots me, I'm just gonna get hit while I'm being trapped by the snowstorm. But that's not true at all. Just block it. I am a little injured. So, last time I went right here, fought that one guy and went down that one path. What's over here, though? Oh. It's Proto-Met. Tell me what you know about Ice-Met. 
I swear, otherwise known as DLM-001, was initially designed by Dr. Lightet for operating in cold environments. After Dr. Wylett hijacked him, he outfitted him with liquid nitrogen canisters. One hit from his ice stream will freeze your circuits. Be careful. His weaknesses are silver feathers, which do four damage per hit. Silver feathers. Thanks, Proto Met. Time to put this robot on ice. Stay safe, Mega Met. And never say that again. I almost shot him. <laughs> I had a charge shot running. Silver feathers. I do not have silver feathers, unfortunately, for me. You know, that's a very... This is one of those tricky patterns that only... It looks tricky that's actually not too hard to dodge, generally. Uh oh. I messed that up really hard. Though, admittedly, the ice physics makes this more difficult. Kind of a mean boss, honestly. Kind of a mean for a sub-boss to me. I I'd say it actually has about boss difficulty. It has lower health than a boss, though. But it, it that could very well just be a boss. <laughs> With how difficult I find it. <laughs> Maybe give it like one more attack? I don't know. But I think it'd probably be ready to go. I'm dead. What if I could have blocked the snow? Probably not. <laughs> At least I got a life, which just kind of makes up for it. That was a fortunately timed life. So this section is really not cool, by the way. Penguin's constantly in your way, and you gotta dodge through all this shit and get all the way over here before the snow gets you. It's actually quite a mean system. If that snow was just to kill, that would be very, very unreasonable. Yeah, this, this level kind of overuses stupid penguins, in my opinion. Alright. I don't like Pepsi, it's better at the end. I've never... Huh. I find that to be more true of Coke, personally. Listen, I just don't want to get hit by the spikes anymore. What is this? Spike order. Spike order got more aggressive. Gotcha! That wasn't even a full health bar either. Spike order got such that I had to do longer jumps. Good progression, actually. You got Ice Stream! Nice. Oh, uh... Oh, okay. Nice. 
This weapon fires cold gas from your buster that freezes enemies on contact. You can't fire far, for you can aim it around you so you can't miss. If you have trouble underwater, you can use this weapon to make platforms for yourself. Neat. Hi, what's your deal? Are you just... You're here for testing? Oh, okay, fair enough. Yep. Poor, poor testing guy. Thank you for playing our demo! Press start to go back to the tile screen and try out the weapons! Oh yeah? It's a short demo, but this is actually very polished, very fun. Oh yeah, look at that. So, that's a total of six weapons. There's gonna be a- I guess there's gonna be a total of six Roman Ma like Mega Man 1 then? I mean, it does have a Mega Man 1 vibe already, so... You are a platform now, even though you're spiky. Also... Uh, that, that, that also shuts them down, huh? Okay, what's this? Okay, feathers! Feathers! Found the feathers. What, what's this do? Oh. Goodbye! Wow. Oh my god, I'm a helicopter man, aren't I? Oh wow, that's... You get a basic shot, which is... The, oh, this is actually more of a augment to your abilities, rather than a weapon. Uh, because it doesn't change my basic shot. Okay, no, it does. I can't charge shot. So I've traded the charge shot for the ability to go, woo! That's actually really cool, I like that. That's a fair trade, too. So I just go, woo, I don't care, bye. <laughs> oh shit, what else do we have here? Uh, we have this. It's Met's pet train! Mega Man has a pet dog robot. Met has a pet train robot. Yay. Which is, of course, a reference in itself because the Mets ride trains. What the hell did I. I just put it through the wall. Cool. So it's the Met train. That's appropriate. That's appropriate and cute. Alright, cool. That's. I guess that's what we got. Oh, yeah, okay. So we get four map. We get. So there are. There are four robot masters. We get their weapons in the full game. And then we also get a couple options, basically. So these are options. I love them. They are good. I, I do wonder what the what the train can do exactly. Maybe it can stand on spikes or something? Ah. I'll have to test that before I run out of energy. I hear some spikes, actually. Let's let's test with this. Yep, I was right. They saved you from. Oh, they just. Oh. Okay, it, it is spike. It resists spikes, but also if you take damage, the take the, the train takes damage for you. Trade-off is it's slow, and it doesn't jump as high. Still, though, that's a, again. These are very interesting utility items. I like them. Propeller is kind of like, I actually really like Mega Man 6's, uh, jet, rush jet thing. Not the rush jet, but the, uh, rush jet adapter that let you, well, effectively have kind of a, a jet packy double jump. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that, but a little bit different. You hold down the button to fly, you see. And you can only fly so long before you have to land again. This is really adorable. It fits well with Mets and, uh... If it's the, uh, Met aesthetic, you could say. Uh, but yeah! I'm good. I'm, I'm not gonna go through the whole stage. We've already seen the whole stage, but it was cool to see what else there was. And, uh, yeah! So wait, we get to see the other Robot Masters effectively, too. So that's, that was Ice Met. And that's Magnet Met. So we're gonna, so that's Magnet Met, and Tomahawk Met, and, uh... Tornado Met? Pretty sure that's Tornado Man. So... I, I don't- I wonder how long this game will be, though, if it only has four Robot Masters. Regardless, though, I'd be happy to check this out again later. I'm 
trying to go back to the main, main menu, but I don't think there's any way to easily do that. Okay, I'll just kill the game. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just cute. It's a cute aesthetic, and it, uh, they're using it cleverly, too. So I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes, because it is clearly a, uh, a, a well well managed project here. So I, I maybe in 2022's showcase we'll have a full game to play, maybe, hopefully. I would enjoy that. But in any case, that was the demo of Megamet. <laughs>